To write the formula for sulfurous acid, we'll use this flowchart here to guide our work. We can see if we have hydro, the stem, and the stem's the sulfur here, and an ending of ick, we're going to have two elements. Since we don't have hydro, it doesn't end in ick, it's going to be three elements. Acids begin with H, at least at this level, so we're going to write our H, and then we're going to work backwards using a common ion table to figure out what ion, what polyatomic ion, is attached to the hydrogens to make our acid. When we look up here, we have sulfur us, and the one that matches that is this right here with the ITE. So we have sulfur and then the OUS. We'll go to the common ion table, and we'll look up something that ends in sulfur ite or sulfurite. So we'll scroll down our table. We're looking for a sulfite type thing. And as we go down, and there it is, SO3 2 minus is the sulfite ion. So back to our formula, we'll write SO3 2 minus. And we're almost done, but we do need to balance the charges. So we have this 2 minus here. Hydrogen's always plus 1. It's in group 1 on the periodic table. So plus one and minus two, they don't balance out. If we put a subscript of two here, then we'll have two times plus one. That'll be plus two on this side. And over here, this minus two, which applies to the whole SO3, that'll cancel out, plus two and minus two. And that makes H2SO3 the formula for sulfurous acid. We'll clean things up a bit. And there you have it, the formula for H2SO3 sulfurous acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.